Hi everyone, welcome to day 2 of my 50 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analysis and business analysis interview question for SQL. So let's see the today question. Given the order table with the column order ID, order date and total amount and the return table has return ID and the order ID. So the question is that write an SQL query to calculate the total number of return orders for each month. So for each month what is the total number of return I mean in quantity that is what basically you need to find out. So let's see the order table first. In the order table, we have order ID, order date, and the total amount of sales basically. And let's see in the return table what we have. So in the return table, we have return ID and the order ID, right? So this is what we have in the return table. Now in the return table, we do not have something called, you know, the return date or order date. So we'll consider the date that is going to be from this order table, right? So let's go ahead and write down the things that we need to solve these questions, right? So we first need uh, to find out the total number of basically returns. So we need to find total numbers of returns, right, return. Then we can group it by, by each month, right, so then group by, by month, which we will get from basically order table, right, from the order tables we will be getting month name. And then we will basically, we can join both the table using a left join because we need everything from the return table. And only the you know matching information that is from the order table that's how we can basically solve it right so we can do a left join and uh, that's how we can solve it so let's go ahead and start writing our query so let's say we need a select okay then we will need what first we need the you know month right first we need the month and we do not have month column so we can go ahead and create a month column from this order table so let's see in the order table we have something called order date so we can see that extra we can use extra functions here basically to take out the month number from this order date so we can see order date from this order date column we are basically extracting the month right so we can say extra month from this order date right this is what basically going to give us the month name and we can save it as like month right so this is going to be our the first column that's going to be the month that we have got from the order date now next we need basically count of total return right so we can see that count of total return so that we can basically get it from the return table so in the return table if we check we have something called return id so we can say return id okay. and we can say that as total return so this is basically just the alias i'm using this is the column name that's going to be now these two things only we need now we can go ahead and basically join both the table because we are getting this order date from the orders table and this return id from the return table right so we can say from we need a return table which is going to be returns okay and we can just give it an alias called as r right now the point is that what would be the right join so we need to understand that for each month we need to find the return total return right so we need each and every information that we have in the return table but we may not have uh, you know i mean not need all the information from the orders table because see not all the orders are return right so we will use usually basically so we will do a left join with a return table so that means we will be getting everything from this return table okay? and then we will say left join so we're doing a left join because we're getting everything from the return table because we need to find the total count of return for each month right that's the reason we need to do a left join because we want every orders are to be counted from the return table and only we need the month basically of the matching uh, you know return from this order table and that's the reason we will do a left join with everything from the return table and matching the order date from basically the order table so we'll say orders so right so we are done now we can go ahead uh, you know on which conditions we are joining so we can say on and then we can say that uh, r dot order id so both the table has the same column which is order id right so we can join make a join on it so you can say o dot order id so now we have almost done now the thing is that we basically need for each month which we are getting from the order tables and uh, total number of return right that is we are getting from the return table so we need to basically keep uh, you know define here from because we are making a join so we are not getting it from the one table so we need to define from which table we are getting it so i can see that the table name which is r so from the r i am getting this return id so r dot i am getting this return id and from this uh, you know the second table which is o so from the order table i am getting the order date so this is how i am defining from the order table i am getting order date and from the return table i am getting the return id okay and then basically we are done now we can go ahead and do a group by by this month okay because we need to find out for each month 
what is the you know count of return right so we need to basically use a group by so you can say group by this uh, column which is going to be month right now if we run this query for each month we will have the total number of return now i can go ahead and say order by order by this uh, you know month as well i want in ascending order so i'm not going to define anything now if i just run it it is going to basically give us the result that we need okay? now you see the month number which is one and the total return we have that is one okay now the month two we have uh, two return month three we have only one return so this is the count of a uh, you know return that we have now let's just check the return table one more time let's see so order id yeah that's perfect so basically yes we are getting the you know kind of the return so let's just go ahead and now uh, you know make it like a little bit uh, you know better i would say because see now sometimes if you have the data for like more than one year so then you might get basically you know query might get confused like because this is going to basically take the month from every year so we can define one thing we can use a concat functions here to basically uh, you know uh, again extract the year as well along with the month and we can basically make a group by, by this column okay so to do that i can just go ahead and say that uh, you know i can use a concat functions so that's going to be like this and i can say concat with what dash p now i can say again like this the sign Oops. okay now basically this extract everything uh, extract this month that i'm getting from the you know kind of the order date i'll now this time extract the year okay, instead of month so i will say extract the year and then i'm basically saving it as a month now and I'm basically between them I'm just using this dash that's how basically distinguish now if you just run this query okay, you will see uh, the query will look a little better now if you have uh, you know data for multiple years so the first you know month that is going to be from 2023 that's like January so this is how I'm basically concatenating uh, you know basically the month with the dash and this year that's how I ensure that you know this January one that is from 2023 now if I have the data that is in January 2024 that will be in a different group right so now i have the month name uh, which is basically the month id along with the year and their total count of return so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you really like my content please do subscribe to my youtube channel have a good day take care